today we are doing one of the things I suck at. We're deck building. What the hell is this nonsense? Still like that, please. Okay, anyway, we're just going to go through some decks and take some ideas and build decks and then maybe have some fun with it. Basically, this is my deck building for the week. Like, I decide what decks I'm going to play over the course of the week, so I don't have to decide every night because that's getting tiring. So Saturday morning will now be my, I'm going to build some decks morning. Yeah. So anyway, the first deck we're doing is tokens because we got a couple awesome, well, really one awesome token generator. And I decided to do it with Divine Visitation because Divine Visitation is hilarious. So... What are the new cards in this deck? Well, we've got Scorching Dragonfire, which is basically the replacement for Lightning Strike, although it can't hit face. It can do Creature or Planeswalker, and it exiles it. So this is very good to take out Planeswalkers. We also have Improbable Alliance. <clears throat> this is a great card. One blue, one red. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, create a fairy. And then a big draw a card, discard a card, which we're probably not going to be using ever. There's Iron Craig Pyromancer. This card is scary as heck for Is It. I mean, seriously, wow. Look at this nonsense. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, Iron Craig Pyromancer deals three damage to your target. So, yeah, um, this is awesome against aggro decks. Like, wow. Okay. And other than that, I think, well, there's Castle Arden Vale down here, which uh, makes token. Yeah. So, other than that, we got a bunch of lands to splash the white. And what else is in the deck? We got Op, which was reprinted, which was awesome. We've got three Anticipates. Uh, it doesn't really draw a card, I don't think, but it's still a very nice search card because we are searching for things like Improbable Alliance and Iron Crag and Sahili. <clears throat> we have Radical Idea, the two mana draw a card. Scorching Dragonfire, the uh, two clear the minds to bring everything back. Also draws a card. Uh, Dovin Security, because it draws a card, it gains life, and whenever we play instant spells, of which there are many in this deck, we get to return it to our hand and play it again. So, yeah, very good. Well, instant cards on our main phase. Yeah. Uh, three Sahilis, because whenever we play non-creature spells, of which the deck is full of non-creature spells, uh, yeah, we get a 1-1 token, which with Divine Visitation out, our tokens get turned into 4-4 White Angels. And then we have three Time Wipes in case we need to reset the board. In case our board state sucks. And then we have a bunch of lands. Uh, we have the Scry lands. We have some Pay lands. This is another reason Dovin's Acuity is, is pretty darn good. Because it gives us stuff. So the basic idea is to survive and overwhelm everything with tokens. And uh, hopefully we get the bottom visitation out and get to have some fun. So that's... That's uh, one of the decks that's going to be next week. Um, Gateway to Happiness was last night's or Friday's video, so I'm not really going to go over that one again. Um, next up is, although Gateway to Happiness, I'm going to go over relatively briefly because it has Happily Ever After as a win condition. Uh, yeah, so there's a deck list if you want to see that one. We are going to make another version of Happily Ever After because I'm an idiot. So, yeah, let's go with that. Uh, so we want green and white. So basically, I'm going to make a Happily Ever After ramp deck. Yes, I know, I'm nuts. But uh, you know what? We're trying to have fun here. So um, this is what's going to happen here. All right, a couple of these. I'm just going to put in cards that I thought of, and then we can build the deck from there. So we need Happily Ever After, Gird for Battle... Uh, what else do we need? Incubation. Oops. Apparently I suck at typing today. We need Incubation Druid. We need Paradise Druid. No. Oh, Gift of Paradise. Do you belong in there? Uh, I don't know why it's still showing that. Yeah, Gift of Paradise. Why not? Like how in 19 it was uncommon and now it's common. Not that it really matters in this game because commons and uncommons are so easy to get. I'm going to look at this. 386 commons, 428 uncommons. Yeah, I think I've got plenty to get in the uncommon or common. Um, Gift of Paradise, Happily Ever After, 
Pixie Boy. Tempted to put Teo's light shield in here, just for the hell of it. Put a plus one, plus one counter, so maybe Stony Strength is better. But that's two creatures. Incubation. Iron Shell Beetle. So a consideration. Wildcrafter. Wildcrafter. Maybe Brights. So if we go over 60 cards right now, I don't really care. Shiny and good. Uh, Nissa, I guess, would be a nice ramp, and she counts as a Plainsy Walker, so that is good. Really don't need that. Johnny, perhaps. <clears throat> sure. Tokens, do I really need tokens? Not really. Inform, repudiate, mistakes, all this nonsense. Yeah. Wander Mare. What's Wander Mare? Uh, for. Yeah. Oh. Input not collected. Um. No, that doesn't really do it. Twin Blade Paladin. Yeah, I like Twin Blade Paladin, but not for this deck. Why don't I have any of those? Honestly. There's some cards in M20. Like, I've drafted and opened so many packs of M20. And there's just... There's there's cards that I just don't have for some reason. And this is one of them. So... Because I just have so many of those, we're going to do it. Indestructible, no good, no bueno. Adamant, Greenberg Paladin. Nah. Adamant is such a nice mechanic for mono decks, it's scary. Vivian, Nature's Avenger. That's pretty good, but no. Okay, so. What's the <clears throat> what's the point here? Oh, did I put happily out? Yeah, I did. Okay, I've got sorceries. Oh, once upon a time, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care about crafting in comments. Once upon a time. It's a really good search card, that's why that's in there. Okay, so. Let's go put some land in here. Given the Paradise Trays and the Incubation Druids, I should only need 22 land. So, what are we doing here? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Temple Garden. 
So given that, okay. Oh, uh, forest. What forest do I want? Whee! Well, maybe I want some of the. Well, that makes a token, so that's not really useful. What's the green one? Uh, where is my green one? Gingerbread Castle. No, not really necessary. Creature spells or activate abilities of creatures. No, not really necessary. Okay. Ever after is always going to cover that. All right. So the seven permanents for here we go. Happily ever after is we need to control all five colors, and we need six permanent types either out or in the graveyard, and we need my life total to be greater than the starting life total. So life total is where I'm missing. What am I going to put in here to up the life total? I mean, I guess Happily Ever After does it, but it doesn't do it enough. I would put in Divine Sacrament, but that rotated out! <sighs> da -de -da -de -da. Soul Mender, maybe. Springer, flying in life link hawks maybe tight taker Gideon gives life link rally for the throne no maybe in a Johnny maybe we need to put a Johnny in Go down to like two of that and three of that. Tails light shield. Okay, Tails light shield needs to go to heck. We have enough two drops, I think, for 12. We can ditch the pollen brights and keep Tails. Okay, so what the hell am I doing, you ask? Well, I'm going for happily ever after here. So, the reason I have a bunch of plus one, plus one stuff is because we want to ramp as soon as possible. Well, what's one of the best ways to ramp? It's to get a plus one, plus one counter on this gentleman. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, we can do three tails. So we've got our eight mana dorks. I only need one of those. Oh, what else? Card draw. We have a pretty decent amount of card draw. Or not a decent amount of card draw. I mean, this deck probably isn't going to do that well, but you know what? We're doing it anyway because it's funny. Alright, I think I only need a one-off Ching Yangu. I'm going to put in a couple of Beast Whispers to help us with our card draw. So that kind of favors Teo's over Gird for battle. Yeah. So the reason that we're ramping so much here, or trying to, is because Sphinx of the Guild Pact costs 7. So this is kind of our our thing that we need to get out as fast as possible to have a chance at Happily Ever After because it it fulfills not only the artifact requirement but it fulfills the all colors requirement so you drop that and you've got most of it right there and then we've got a bunch of planeswalkers and creatures we've got some instants 
and sorceries. I think I need to go four of each of these, though, just because they're the only things. Yeah. So, that's the deck. That is my stupid, uh, very badly conceived... So happily deck. And we'll give him this up. Okay, we won't give him this up. <clears throat> there. No, we'll give him this up. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, not so happily. <laughs> okay. Save and exit. Got that. Um, what else did I want to do? I don't know. Guilty Flash, you yeah, know, whatever. What the hell is this? We can get rid of this thing. <laughs> oh, yes. Here is uh, my very bad Corval deck. I'm not going to craft all yet because I still have maybe some stuff to buy, but um, yeah, this is a deck based around Corvald, which was my favorite ball deck, I think, when they did the brawl event. So yeah, uh, this is what we got here. We got Gilded Goose for our one drop. We got Once Upon a Time because this is overpowered as hell. We got Paradise Druids. We got Trails of Crumbs, which uh, creates a food token. And then you sacrifice a food. You may pay one, so since we're going to sacrifice stuff. Um, yeah, so this is like Mardu Corvald. And we've got three Chandras, Acolyte of Flame, to make stuff to sacrifice. We've got Giant Opportunity, which either we can sacrifice two foods or we create three food tokens. We've got Mayhem Devil, because it deals damage. We've got Savvy Hunters, to uh, get a bunch of food. We've got Wicked Wolf, which can fight and give us food. We've got the three Corvolds. Then we've got two Lilianas, uh, one Taste of Death. I love this card. I don't know if it's very good, but I love this card. <laughs> and then we've got a Feasting Troll King, for the heck of it. Uh, and then we've got a bunch of land. So I don't know if the Mana Vice may be kind of off on this deck. It seems like we've got an overabundance of black, maybe, for how little black we have in the deck. Well, we need Liliana, or Taste of Death, whatever. But I feel like I need four stomping grounds. <clears throat> but anyway, point is find Corvald, get Corvald out, and uh, laugh. Yeah. Make a bunch of food, get Corvald out, use that, uh, sack a bunch of stuff with. Giant Opportunity, Trail of Crumbs, uh, Liliana's Taste of Death, and the Feasting Troll King. So, yeah, that's... Yeah, Sacrifice... Gilded Goose also gives us a way to sacrifice stuff. So, yeah, that's my very early Corvald deck that we can play in that other format. Uh, yeah. So, sit next to that. Yes, I'd like to save it anyway. Okay, so so far we've got the three decks that I want to make. Um, yeah, not so happily. To, so this is like a Corval's food deck. But there's a lot of ways to make a food deck. I think I want to go for... Another food deck, perhaps? So, they've been food. Let's see what we get. There's a lot of food mechanics, seriously. So, what's going to be the point of this deck? Troll. Man, none of these create a number of food tokens. None of these equal the number of opponents you have cards are very good. Unfortunately, 
because the game doesn't really have a lot of multiplayer. Uh, Oko, obviously, very good. Uh, creates foods. Um, what else are we going to do here? Yeah, and an Oko can make food tokens into 3-3 three, three Elks, which is nice. Oh, which is oven. Create a food token. Turn into a pumpkin. Yes, love this card. So that's a curious pair. Create a food token. The problem is that a, a two mana one three that doesn't really do anything. Meh. We can do a pie, funny. Gilded goose. One of the best things actually. Oh. So what I'm gonna do here, are we gonna go Sultai, I guess? Or maybe just green good stuff. I think we're just gonna go like green and splash blue for Oko here. Or maybe splash black for Savvy Hunter. Goose, Wicked Wolf is good. A couple of Feasting Troll Kings, a couple of that. Trail of Crumbs. Or standard. Maybe another feasting troll king. All right, what do we got in blue and green? Because I think we're hmm, probably need some removal. <laughs> How do we win? We make tokens, we use Oko to do stuff. I want to make a rogue deck. Some possibilities, some mercils. What else are we doing here? See, this is why I don't build decks. I'm very bad at deck building, in case you haven't noticed. No escape, no yelling. Ooh, Midnight Clock. I love this card. This card is ridiculous. Don't know if it fits in what we're trying to do here, though. What are we trying to do here? Queen of Ice. Tap that creature. Hmm. Seems kind of fun. Anyway. Food. We got all the good food stuff. Oh, forgot somebody. Oh, my Woodland Champions. Indeed. Never one or more tokens enters the battlefield. Well, we have a bunch of things that uh, create a food token. That creates food token, that creates tokens, that creates tokens. Savvy Hunter creates tokens. Oko creates tokens. We could both use the tokens. That creates tokens. So yeah, Woodland Champion, very good synergy here. Uh, maybe... So it creates tokens. Yeah. 
Pepper the Swarm, maybe? That could be funny. Dreadhorde Invasion. Looking at Dreadhorde Invasion. Because that comes into play. That just makes stuff, and that's good. This is also quite funny. Stolen by the Fae. I swear, I'm going to make a uh, Divine Visitation deck with Stolen by the Fae. Just like, I don't know, return ginormous creature to someone's hand and just go, here's a bunch of angels. Ah, ha, ha. Yeah, that'll be funny. Alright, Zombie Army, Dreadhorde Invasion. Why not? We're doing it. We're doing it. Which means maybe I can splash... Well, I don't really want to splash into the God Eternal. Well, maybe I do. What just makes tokens? <laughs> Plain White Celebration? Yeah! No. Great Hinge... Uh, no, I don't think that's a good idea because we're not really going to get it to the point. I mean, I guess if we like giant opportunity and then go, oh, hey, this only costs two mana now, that would be kind of funny, but oh, why not? We'll put one in there. Oko, Oko, Oko. What else? Although like, oh, I've never probably hurt. Rampage of the Clans, no. We got that. We need some removal in this deck. Eh, forget the Great Hand. We need removal. What about Assassin's Trophy. That's good removal. Good target removal takes care of everything. Giant opportunity. Oops. You can craft that. I'm not really going to craft two Oko's yet, even though I do have the wild cards. Give it a card back. What card back are we giving this thing? Oh, let's give it the all-time card back. <clears throat> we got makes food. Oh, we got to do our land base. <laughs> Ain't that nice? Almost forgot about that. All right. Since I love these, we're keeping these. Maybe we need to put in Once Upon a Times. Once Upon a Time is crazy nutso card. But I think we'll be okay with... I think we'll be okay. To be only to cast creatures. You know, we'll put in a Castle Garenbreak here. Gingerbread Cabin, no. Couple of Temple of Masteries, I guess. Couple of Maladies. Overgrown Tones. Couple watery graves. 
and a couple of breeding. Well, I think that looks okay for now. There's makes food. Done for now. Okay. We're gonna make things. We're gonna make a rogue deck. You know why? Because rogue decks are funny. Okay, so what's gonna be the basis of this rogue deck? You see this guy is Robber of the Rich. Now, Robber of the Rich. Whenever it attacks, if it has more cards in hand than you, exile the top card of their library. During the turn, any turn you attack with a row, you may cast that card as though it were as though they call it. Yeah, so basically you steal a card if they have more cards in hand than you. So, that plus Goblin Smuggler. Alright. Equals goodness. Alright, unblockable. We need we need things that make unblockable. Right, it's not unblockable anymore. It can't be blocked. <sighs> okay, so we're going to have some Tin Street Dodgers because it's whenever you attack with a rogue. Ash off, Skulker. <laughs> no, thank you. It's also not a rogue. Wall of death. No. I guess we're gonna go with manifold key, which is hilarious. I guess I'm gonna put some manifold keys in there. All right, back to rooms. Back to some rows. So black has nice things, but I think I want to go into blue instead. I think I want to go with blue instead because Blue has combat tricks and it has fairy rogues. We're going to do a couple off that. Yeah. We're going to go with a couple Night Veil sprites. Don't know how often we're gonna draw a second card each turn. <clears throat> we're gonna go with the full complement of Fairy Duelists. So yeah, now we need some burn to get things out of the way. This card is going to be so nuts, though. Fairy Vandal. Oh, no, we don't really want Fairy Vandals. Uh, 
I want some frogifies for. Do some quench. Ha dee da dee da. I don't want some negates. I don't want some negates. Stop board wipes. <laughs> Some burn to get some stuff out of the way. Maybe a couple lava coils. Where is that Squish Dragon Pirate? There it is. Scorching dragon fire. I guess Agent of Treachery is funny, but probably not gonna do much. So we're gonna ditch that in favor of some more burn. I'm just gonna go for the full complement of Scorching Dragon Fire. So uh Yeah, there's rogues. Where is it? So let's go with the security one. Actually, let's just go with my soul right now. Oh, there was another card I was just thinking of. Oh, icon. Icon of ancestry. Makes things scarier. Let's get rid of the other summons. So yeah, there's the deck. Oh, maybe I want. I want ops. Maybe I want shimmers. Anticipates three cards with shimmer. But shimmers is sorcery. Isn't Anticipate. Let's go with a couple of anticipates. Reach and haste. I love it. <coughs> oh, sorry. I meant to turn the mic off, and apparently I did. Stupid thing. Okay, well, anyway, here's the uh, here's the rogues deck with my robber of the rich. Uh, yeah, this deck is I don't know. This deck is a one-off jinx, stupid mess. That is what it is. But hey, whatever. You know, why are we playing this game if not to have fun, right? Ooh, I need to get that one. I don't know how I get that one, but I need to get that one. Okay, uh, what are we putting in here? We need the full complement of Scry here. Command Tower. How did I not get Command Tower? Whatever, I'm crafting all those. Oh. And how did I not ever get any Evolving Wilds? I swear, there's some cards that do not appear in packs. Because I should have every common... Like this, how have I not gotten any of this yet? I've opened like 130 packs. Well, maybe not that many. But I've opened a significant amount. Same with these guild gates and stuff. It's like, why haven't I gotten them yet? Alright, whatever. Um, 
Only three steam vents, I think. I mean, we're only a we're a two color deck that doesn't. Where our top end is friggin' three. Where is where is it? There it is. Tumbles of Epiphany. In fact, we're gonna go down to twenty-two land, which means I can add two more cards, which means we're getting another anticipate and uh, problem is we gotta get Robber of the Rich the Brew. I think 21 land is going to be good enough. we got to get Robber of the Rich through. So, I need some instants. Oh, we do have the Goblin Smugglers to get him through. Alright, what, what gives Trample? Trample gives Trample. Tremple, tremple, tremple. Oh crap, maybe I should have some Dreadlord Arcanus in here. Nah. Power, unfortunately. Oh. Attacking non human creatures. Son of a bleep, why are you a human? Maybe Collision? <laughs> no, wait, we need Colossus. Embercleave. Oh my god, we're gonna play Embercleave. In fact, we're gonna play two Embercleaves. And maybe the Royal Scions. I think I'm going to take out one Scorching Scion and one more uh, Main Street Dodger and put in a couple Royal Scions. Okay, so that's the deck. Happy days. Yes, done for now. Okay, so how many decks do I have to play this week? I got one, two, three, four. We are going to be making Mono Green. You know why? Because Mono Green is hilarious. Okay. Is traditional standard anyway. This card, oof. I am totally making an adventure deck. But uh, at the moment, we are doing mono green good stuff. So I'm basically going to put. Woo! Bears. Um, yes, please. So we're going to do mono green good stuff here. Mono green eldering good stuff. But yes, please, once upon a time. <clears throat> That's a nice one. Cast a creature spell that has an adventure. Giant opportunity. 
Jill Crumbs. Yes, please. Shield might. Ooh. Bird fables. Tall as a beanstalk. Once in future. Also, Questing Beast is very good. This thing is nonsense. Seriously. Troll kings in there. Ooh, Thorn Demon. I love Thorn Demon. Beanstalk Giant, yes please. The Great Hinge, yes please. Steel Bane Hydra, Turtle Hydra. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, that's kind of nice, isn't it? Alright, so what do we got? Help collectors. A giant growth. Paradise Druids. <laughs> Maybe growth cycles. He. <laughs> Gotta get our beast whispers in there for that. I mean, no hide ferrets is still good. Love struck beast. Eh. Grow Chamber Guardian. You know, this card is just. This card is nuts. I mean, obviously, this is just me randomly making crap. Big, stompy green things is what this is. Some, something to do stuff with. Maybe an end race. Ooh. Maybe a Wakered Elemental. Yeah, I like a Wakered. I like some braces, I just.
This fight is just so ridiculously good. I need two your lose. <clears throat> yeah. Only three beanstalk giants. Go get a bunch of force. Probably put Nisa in here, but oh well. So, there's a uh, mono green that we'll play later. Because why not? Six that I can play. We need one last one. Oh, maybe I'll remake some official lamps here. Actually, I just like this deck as a whole. It doesn't even have any Eldrain cards in it. But, you know. So we're going to just look at Eldrain and see if there's anything we want to. Misclick. Let's see if there's anything we want to misclick. Okay. Uh, what are we doing here? Woo -dee -doo -dee -doo 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 -dee do 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 All right, let's see. Claim the Firstborn. Eh. This is a great flipping card, but that's for champions. Oh, knights. There is so many knight decks. Holy smokes. Holy balls, are there a lot of knights now. Seven dwarves, this is hilarious. Oh my gosh. Ferocity of the Wilds, I like that one. Kara uh, the Bull. Nah. I like Rowan, but I don't think that that's going to happen. I like Embercleave, <laughs> but I don't really think that we're going to get to the point where we need Embercleave. And this, this deck just works so well, the, exactly the way it is. I don't even know if I want to change anything in it. It's, it's quite ridiculous how good this deck is right now. There was one card I wanted to put in it, and I'm not finding it at the moment. Why am I not finding it? Should be, like, right here. Rampart Smasher. No, that's... Elite Headhunter. I mean... 
it's okay, but we're not ever going to have the mana to use that ability or need to use it. But there's another two mana creature that's... Oh, here it is, Stormfist Crusader. I totally want to put this in the deck. I, I really, really do. I think that's flipping awesome. Why do we have Evolving Wilds in this deck? We need Evolving Wilds in this deck. But yeah, I, I really, really like this card. This card is awesome. It's just ridiculous for good old Rakdos Smash. Good old Rakdos Smash, that's what that is. Alright, so I added a couple Starfish Crusaders. That's about all I did. <clears throat> we just got Menace, which is nice. I think I'm going to actually take out a Gutter Bones, put a third one in there. Okay, so there's, there's the decks I'm going to play. We got... Corval, makes food, rogues, envious, token meme, not so happily, and sacrificial lambs. And what else was I gonna make? Maybe we should just make a good old Rakdos. I'm gonna come and get you your dead deck. Yes, it's kind of like mono red, but you know what? This is actually fun to play. Mono red, I do not find fun to play at all. This still takes some strategy. That's the that's the thing about this deck. When to use your Priest of Forgotten Gods. When to Heart Fire. Uh, when to play Judith, Mayhem Devil, Spark Harvest, Gutter Bones. I mean, it still has a little bit of strategy in it. That's the point. And the others do not. But anyway, that's uh, that's my deck list. You know, it's it's just crazy stuff. We're definitely going to update my Green White Tokens deck because I love Green White Tokens. Wolfies, unfortunately, did not do very well. We're definitely updating Dimmer. We're going to make an Adventure deck. Yeah, we're just going to have some fun, but um, that's pretty much right now. I'm just going to delete a bunch of these old things. Unfortunately, I love this deck, but yeah, I'm keeping these two. But I can't wait until they put in Commander. Oh my god, I need to make a Knight's deck. Okay, I have to make a Knight's deck. Have to. Have to make a Knight's deck. Oh my god. I don't even know, like, what color to make it. Circle of Loyalty. Wow. That's a nice, that's a nice card. It really is. A Flyer, that's pretty good. Oh my god. Yeah, that can't be all the knights. Is it, is it really all the knights? I mean, Sir Gwyn, obviously. This, I cannot believe I did not get any of these. All right, you know what? We are going with the... Uh, hmm. I like Doom Foretold. That's a funny card. Ooh. 
That's pretty nice. Okay, so we're going to go with black and white knights. Number of creatures you control, whenever soldering attacks, create a number equal. Eh. Eh. Why not? Okay, that's ridiculous. Yes to venerable knights. Holy smokes. Okay, this this card is nuts. This is nuts. This guy, oh my god, that guy's ridiculous. Love this. Love Corpse Knight, but I don't know if we actually need Corpse Knight in this deck. And we need some Midnight Reapers. Eh. We need Knight's Charges. I like going to Boring Commander. Winter Moor Commander, whatever. Winter Winter Commander, okay? Whatever. Um, we're not really going into the equipment. Although, yes we are now. This is a knight. Oh my god, that's a knight. Holy cow. Holy cow, people. No, I like Doom Foretold. Obviously, this is just like the first iteration of stuff. Oh, that's a Steel Claw, isn't it? Oh, that's red. Can't really do that because it's red. I mean, there's, there's like a ton of potential for knights in this. So this is just... This is just nonsense knights. Like, obviously, I'm gonna have to do some stuff to, <laughs> to correct this. But for now, it's fine. Wait a minute. I guess we'll go with some Corpse Knights. I mean, obviously, that's a nutso Knights deck. Uh, there's, there's so many Knights, it's just ridiculous. And there's like five different ways you can make Knights. Watch this. We're gonna go Black and Red Knights.
this guy. This guy, holy moly. And we're going to put a couple of those in there. This guy's going in there. This guy's going in there. Now we just need some equipment here to uh, you have costs three less to activate. So this now costs five. <laughs> Is that all we have for equipment? Seriously? No. There's got to be more equipment than that. Is that it? Knew it. Oh yes, Embercleave. Oh yes, Embercleave. I mean, hell, let's throw a Colossus hammer in there. Oh, yeah, this is ridiculous as well. Except it's white. Stupid white. Go with the Cavalier of Night. This guy.
Okay, so now we've made a bunch of decks for me to play out the upcoming week. Uh, that's about all for now. Uh, you know what, we're going to take Token Meme for a spin because I really want to play this one. Actually, I really want to try not so happily. <laughs> So that's pretty much how it's going to be on Saturday mornings. We're going to deck build and play stuff. Oh, look at that. We got the combo in our opening hand. And nothing else. Oh, good. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Too bad, right? Uh oh. Knights? Nope. Should have known. I am a Johnny Goldmane. I am a friend. A pure soul can inspire others. Apologies, I guess I gotta press harder on that stupid mute button. Of course. I hate the other decks. Of course! Cease your selfish acts! I hope BS, I swear to God. just gonna get outvalued here, especially because I'm flooding flipping lands, apparently. Eleven cards, six land. That's called a flood. Yeah, feather. Huh. Okay, that's seven out of twelve lands. That's that's awesome. That's that's. Oh, I'm gonna put in this deck. I also need to make an adventure deck. Definitely do that next week. That's a pile of junk. That's better. Oh my god. Do I actually bottom this in here? I think I do.
is a good draw right there. this nonsense. Probably going, what in the hell is this? I love everything from deer to dinosaurs. Druid. Okay. So can't deal five damage to me, I win. They might very well be able to deal five damage to me, in which case I lose. Alright, he's got hexproof. I'm sorry, you don't have any mana. Well, maybe you do. Oh, well, you lose. You have lost, you played incorrectly. We're fit enough to survive. Sorry, you played incorrectly, sir. I win. And there we go. Hexproof saved us. <laughs> Okay, so with that, I'm going to uh, end it here. Go play some classic WoW. And, uh, please consider liking the video if you did. I know it was just boring deck building, but you know what? There'll be another video later. And uh, yeah, have a nice day wherever you are. Come watch me on Twitch for some classic WoW later and occasional magic streaming. So yeah, have a good day, people. And I hope you enjoy Throne of Eldraine because I'm liking it a lot. Bye for now.